What's up everybody? You're watching Mooch Life. If you're here for the first time, I'm Mooch. I'm a Chevy fanboy, rocking the t-shirt. We got a beautiful fall day and we are in the backyard of De La Casa Mucho, my house, backyard. We got the truck out here in the backyard because we're gonna do something to it. And the only reason it is actually parked in the backyard is to give the viewers a different perspective because every time I do something, we are in the driveway and uh, just the, we're in the backyard for no other reason than that. So, what do we got going on with the truck today? When I bought my 2018 Silverado, Z71, it came with a sticker decal on the back of the tailgate here, and I am not a fan of it. So we're gonna remedy that today. Just quickly before we get into the content though, I just wanna remind you guys that a few videos back, I gave away a Google Home Mini to a lucky subscriber for hitting a 200 subscriber milestone. I just wanna let you guys know that once we hit 500 subscribers, I'm gonna give away $500. So tell your friends, tell your family if you're feeling moochy hit the subscribe button the little notification bell stay tuned to my Chevrolet shenanigans here on mooch life and maybe you could win $500 so let's get into the video all right so as you can see we got the z71 sticker here it's like eight inches wide maybe an inch and a half two inches tall came standard on the truck and uh, it it looks okay I guess but not okay enough i'm not a fan of it i don't like sticker decals per se um, some of the silverados have a z71 emblem by the silverado symbol there this is a 2018 i don't know i didn't do the research so i'm not sure why i have a sticker i don't know if it's my trim level i have an lt which is the most sold one but it's not a highly optioned lt it actually came with uh, cloth seats and my rear glass doesn't have sliding glass door. Peep the Mooch Life sticker though. And um, well, let me get the keys. And on the inside, pardon the inside, it's dirty. Um, but it came with cloth seats, but as you can tell, these are leather. These are actually seat covers. And um, I installed these before I started a YouTube channel, but look how they look factory. I mean, they don't look exactly like the design of factory, but the fitting of them looks pretty darn factory. So, I do got the uh, entertainment cluster, which same thing, my truck's filthy, excuse that. Um, but I got the wireless charging unit there, and um, I guess on the dash here, I got my tail light light, which aren't the LEDs, it's just the reverse light turns on, uh, hill descent control and traction control. Some of the higher optioned LTs got some extra buttons here for your, I think, uh, so I do believe your sliding glass window might be down here. I'm not sure. It might actually be up there. I'm not sure. Um, but there are some extra buttons here like uh, to adjust your pedals. Some, some options come with your, your brake and gas pedal can be adjusted up and down. I do got the heated seats. I think that's standard, but, but it's just a simple truck here. Um, I don't know if a higher optioned LT comes with the badging, like I said, but we're gonna fix that today because I am sick of this sticker here. So we're just gonna take a simple heat gun that I got from Lowe's, it's like 40 bucks, we'll apply some heat. I'm gonna distribute the heat. You never wanna put heat in the same spot for too long because you could melt your clear coat or mess up your paint. So if you're just gonna keep kinda doing that, I'm gonna work the corner and peel it up and uh, take it off, pretty simple stuff. And just like that, they are off. That was a simple process. It took about three minutes. So if you look, you can see the outline of where the sticker was. So obviously you can tell that that is clean paint and that is not. Now let's show you the good good right here. We picked these puppies up from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description of the video. If you happen to want to pick these up, check these bad boys out here. These are 10 inch Z71. They are not OEM, but they are replacements. They got the 3M adhesive on the back. 
so we can put these on and it'll look so much better oh yeah look at that now they have four different color options in this particular brand um, I decided to go with these ones because it's my truck and that's what I want now the Z71 badge in the front as you can tell it's got red and then it's like chrome accents on the outside and then the 71 is like chrome there obviously these don't match but guess what it's my truck and I don't really care so the other thing I need to determine is where am I gonna put these I don't have to put them back on the same area I can go and do it here and it's a little bit smaller than the sticker was looks kind of cool I could probably put them here if I wanted in the front of the truck bed I could put them by the Silverado up below them or above it or I can put them up front here at the back of the firewall if you will so I have a decision to make I mean Chevrolet puts them either the sticker on the back there or they tend to if you've seen the new Sierras and stuff they put their Z71 and 4x4 chrome uh, 3d decals if you will right here which I'm kind of leaning towards that but I don't know what do you guys think I'll give you five seconds all right so I'm looking at it I'm gonna throw them on there but I can't do it I need to tape them up I need to see what they look like from a distance I'm gonna let you guys uh, check them out from a distance as well here and uh, we'll appreciate the Z71 awesomeness that is these logos and uh, we'll do all three perspective spots that I'm thinking about doing then we'll make a decision so here's spot A which is right over where it used to be All right, now we switch it up to spot B. Let's check it out. I don't know if I'm feeling that one. And let's check out spot number three on the front. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm really torn right now. So down by the Silverado, ain't happening. Where it's at now, on the top of the front fender by the hood, or by the back of the truck bed. I don't know, I'm torn. I'm going to sit here and ponder over it for a few minutes, and then I'm going to make my decision. I'll install it quickly, wash the paint, get all the wax and stuff off, all the dirt, and uh, make sure it's dry. Take the adhesive off, put it on there nice and straight where you want it, uh, do both sides. Firmly press pressure um, so that's sticking good and after a minute or so it should be on there nice and tight so So we did it, you just seen where we put them. We went with the front, looks good. I love the red with the black, it looks awesome. All the lettering is in red, except for the seven and the one. The red is like a gloss in all the lettering. 
and then the waffle pattern in the seven and one is matte along with the outline but yeah that looks badass so just quickly simply the reason why i didn't put them back where they're supposed to go there is because i didn't want to the new trucks the 19s they put all their decals up there on the front i think it looks better up there i don't know the idea behind why they switched it or why that was a sticker to begin with because i know uh, some people have their trucks come standard with the badging here by the Silverado um, But that's just the way my truck came I'm not going to do the research because frankly, I don't care why I'm assuming it's just the trim level I got I'm going to clean this up a little bit so you can't see the Z71 real quick I'm not going to film that of course, but there it is man. Hope you guys like it um, If you're interested in this decal like I said, they have four different color options you can check out. I'm going to put the Amazon link in the description. And also, don't forget, if you like Silverados and Camaro stuff, or uh, you just want to check me out to enjoy some, some Mooch Life content, subscribe. Uh, 500 subscribers, $500. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to hit that milestone and to be able to enlighten somebody's life with a little monetary gift uh, to make your life a little bit easier because here on mooch life we like to make life easier so with that being said thanks for enjoying this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to check out that amazon link it's not sponsored of course my little channel here with 200 subscribers i don't have any sponsors i just bought stuff that uh i think is appealing to me and uh, i want to share it with you guys so thank you for checking this out and uh if you're feeling moochy, subscribe. Peace out, muchachos.